Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Purple Paw. She was submitted to me by Addison. Once upon a time, Purple Paw lived in Canterlot, and she was known throughout the land for all of her amazing spells. One one day, she decided to try a new transportation spell. As soon as the spell was cast, she was instantly led to Ponyville. As soon as she got to Ponyville, she met all of these cute, adorable little animals that she'd never seen before in her entire life. After hanging out with these cute little animals, Purple Paw realized that she loved them and knew in her heart she could never return to Canterlot without them. So after some thinking, Purple Paw made the decision to permanently move to Ponyville. And at the exact moment she made her decision, her cute Mark finally appeared. Purple Paw has lived happily in Ponyville ever since. Let's get started making Purple Paw. We're going to be using Rarity as the base for Purple Paw today. Of course, starting by prepping the pony using a little bit of acetone to remove the original cutie mark and like half of the eyes because I want to keep the general placement of them so it makes it easier for me to put the new ones later on. Now I'm twisting the head firmly to the side until it kind of pops out of the neck plug because we need to remove all of Rarity's original hair so that Purple Paw can get a new mane in a little bit. I'm taking my large scissors, cutting off the bulk of the hair, and then using my teeny tiny little nail scissors to cut the hair all the way down to the scalp. And remember, the shorter you cut the hair, the easier it is going to be for you to pull the roots out from the inside. So you can see right in there, all those hair roots and glue. So I'm gonna reach in there with my pliers and pull all of those clumps out until the pony is completely bald. Now for the tail, I'm actually just going to cut off the bulk of it and then use the tip of my scissors to press the rest of that tail into the pony's body. Just like this, it kind of just disappears in there. So now this pony is completely prepped. Let's get started with the customization. First off, we are going to be putting down the purple base coat for Purple Paw. I picked out this super pretty shade of nail polish from Sally Hansen called Leapin Lilac. It is gorgeous. I love the color. I think it is perfect for this custom. And it is a really good nail polish formula. With one coat, I'm getting even coverage. So let's completely cover Purple Paw's hair. Head. and that has completely dried and I'm switching over to acrylic paint now for her eyes and let's try and shape these just like Addison's drawing starting off with a base of white acrylic paint and I put down three coats of white and now a bright blue in the corner for her eyes and go in with a couple of shades of lighter blue just to add a little bit of definition in the corner there. Going in with some black and I'm gonna completely outline this eye, give her some eyelashes, and then draw in her pupil. So let's get all of this detail in. And I'm just using a really fine brush for this step. Going in for the pupil and then I'm gonna switch over to white acrylic paint and give her two light reflections in 
the corners of her eye. So let's get these in. These eyes came out so awesome. And this is it for Purple Paw's head. There's not too much here. So I'm just gonna grab my clear top coat, give it two layers, let that completely dry. And once it has, we can give Purple Paw her new mane. These are the colors that I've picked out for her. Ultraviolet and Snow from dollyhair.com. You guys, check out how vibrant this purple is. It is so, so gorgeous. I cut that hair to one quarter the original length. I personally like to wrap that hair around my finger and then use my rerouting tool from dollyhair.com which is a pronged needle and very carefully I catch that plug of hair right in between those two prongs and it is pretty sharp so you just kind of decide what hole you want that hair plug to go in press down firmly and just like that that hair plug will root itself from the inside and then you're just going to repeat this process over and over again until purple paw has her new mane now i'm going to go in with the purple first and then switch over to the white for her highlights and you know rarity already had purple hair but i didn't think it was the right shade of purple for this custom and i saw this ultraviolet color and just knew instantly i had to use it because it was so pretty now i'm just going to seal all of that hair in with some hot glue that's it for the head let's get started on her body Again, we're just gonna use that same purple base color, putting one nice thick coat all over the body and letting that completely dry before we go in for the cutie mark. Now for the cutie mark, I am using acrylic paint and the same fine brush I use for the eyes. Gonna go in with the base of the paw first and then put in the little toes. Once that cutie mark has completely dried, I'm gonna go over the body with two coats of clear nail polish to seal that cutie mark in. Now it is time for her new tail. I have a little bit of that purple and white and I have twist tied it together very very tightly and what I'm going to do is use a little bit of white Gorilla Glue, squeeze it directly inside of the pony's body and I just like to put a little bit extra glue on the actual twist tie just to make sure that the tail gets secured from the inside and I I do suggest using the white Gorilla Glue because it actually puffs up when it dries so it really secures that tail from the inside. Now I'm just going to use my nail dotting tool to press the end of that tail inside of the pony's body. Let's take a look at the completed custom. Here is Purple Paw and her highlights are so pretty. I love the way that the hair curled just perfect down at the tips. It is just so pretty. I was able to give Purple Paw her little bracelets using a little bit of Sugru that I had left over from another custom video. I love the way she came out at a in. I hope that you love Purple Paw as much as I do. I had so much fun creating her for you. And if your Fan Custom Friday pony wasn't picked this week, please don't be too upset. I do do this once a month, so your pony will just stay in the drawing until it finally gets picked. If you would love to enter your pony into the giveaway, stay tuned for all of the giveaway details. Thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye want to see your oc pony made in real life it could happen submit a drawing of your oc pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your oc's name once a month i will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free there is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win 
one. I'll even mail you the Finnish pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem, just let me know when you submit your pony. And 2. If you are under 18, please ask your parents permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash mandapandatoycollector. You can message me on Instagram at mandapandatoycollector or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.